second base. We're the one out double for Castro. Good evening, and welcome to CHBN's coverage of high school basketball. Tonight we come to you live from Tiger Fieldhouse in Delano, Minnesota, about 40 minutes west of Chaska. Thanks again for joining us here for tonight's coverage of high school basketball. This evening we bring you a matchup between two very evenly matched teams, the 8-2 Chaska Hawks and the home 8-2 Delano Tigers. To begin with uh, kind of a look at the, the, the matchup here we have tonight, we'll go first to the Delano side of the ball. Uh, we start out with Georgia Southern signee Calvin Wishart, the senior, uh, averaging 32.3 points per game and is one rebound and one assist away from a season average triple-double per game. For Chaska, we go over and look at Cole Nicholson, the junior who is averaging 22.3 points per game, has 20 points in each of his first, or eight, eight of his first 10 games, does the Chaska junior. Conference leader is Cole Nicholson. When we come back here from a quick commercial break, we'll bring you tip-off from Delano Fieldhouse here. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet New York Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Welcome back to Tiger Field House. Ryan Paul with you here for a very good matchup here tonight between the 8-2 and two Chaska Hawks and the 8-2 and two Delano Tigers. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Hope you're enjoying this first broadcast of the 2018 calendar year. The Hawks and the Tigers getting ready to tip things off here from Tiger Field House. In the circle, Parker Brooklyn and Keegan O'Neill both with on it. Krenos finally comes back with it for Chaska. Now Matt Eliason as he swings it back up top to the junior Krenos. Here's Bjorklin. Bjorklin finds aforementioned Cole Nicholson in the corner for a three. The first points of the game off of a three-pointer from the Chaska junior Cole Nicholson. It's 3-0 Hawks here early. The Hawks, the number eight team in Class 4A. Delano, the number nine team in Class 3A. So technically it is uh, irrelevant to state that they are technically matched up against each other. But uh, they both do technically have rankings uh, provided by Minnesota Basketball News. We'll get more into those section or class rankings later in the broadcast. You just saw Calvin Wishart go up off the window good for two and is fouled. So Delano's first two points of the game coming off of the number three leading scorer in the state of Minnesota. Calvin Wishart averaging 32 points a game. He has had two 40-plus point performances already this season for the Delano Tigers. Here's Krenos, the junior, crosses the Tiger logo at center court for Chaska. Up top, or in the paint now is Bjorklund, up with the left hand, no good, battling for the rebound against Wishart. Bjorklund comes away with it, or Wishart comes away with it rather. It's a 3-3 tie here from Delano Fieldhouse. On this Tuesday evening, about 40 minutes west, northwest of Chaska. Here's a three ball from Wishart, it's off. You'll see him take a lot of shots. He's nine rebounds and nine assists per game, making it one of each away from a triple-double on a season average. Here's a putback off of the missed three ball by Parker Brooklyn for Chaska. His first two points of the basketball game. Here's a three ball chucked up by Derek Teckham for Delano. His first three points of the basketball game. Head coach... Terry Teckham and Dana Coleman for Chaska and Delano respectively facing off for the first time in over 13 years here tonight. Cole Nicholson takes one of the rack and banks it in for two. 7-6 lead here with just under 16 and a half to go from Delano. Here's Wishart. A lot of contact as he went up with it. He was fouled jumping towards the hoop. It'll be Matt Elias who picks up the foul. The first one of the game will go against the Chaska senior Eliason. Averaging 4.8 points per contest is Matt Elias, who just picked up the foul. We'll see Zach Leah come off the bench here after this free throw. It's Wishart at the stripe for the first of two. The first is up and through. Wishart already up to four points this evening. 
As we said, Zach Leah checks in, replaces Matt Eliason out there. 7-7 seven, seven tie for the moment. Here's Wishart at the line for number two. It's up and good. Delano with the lead. Whistle on the floor. And we'll have to see what the call is. A bench warning, maybe, is what we're guessing. So head coach Dana Coleman for Chaska picking up the bench warning. Uh, that's what that whistle was for. And then a pass tipped out of bounds. Chaska will keep possession of it. Here's Leon looking for an inbound. Finds Krinos. He's got his fourth start of the season. Foul on the floor. More than likely will be Trey Longstreet for Delano. Picking up the team's second foul. First foul, rather. Is actually Derek Teckham. Averaging 10 points per game through 10. Here's Leah. Looking for an inbound once more. He gives it into Bjorklund, who's working through a lot of contact. Now a laser pass out to Nicholson in the corner. A three ball is hung short. Rebounded. Keegan O'Neill snatches it for the Tigers. Pushes it up ahead now. Is Calvin Wishart. Wishart pulls up from three ball range. It rimmed in and out. Nicholson grabs the rebound for Chaska. Just under 16 minutes to go here from Tiger Fieldhouse. This is a three ball for Marcus Peters for Chaska. It's good. Chaska back on top. Delano quickly back off the floor. You're going to see a lot of fast break transition shots and possessions from Delano. Here's Wishart through this one. Off the hands of Chaska. It goes out of bounds. 10-8. Hawk lead here. Both teams sitting at 8-2 and two so far this year. Pretty evenly matched game we have here tonight. Inbound to Wishart. The Georgia Southern signee takes the baseline. Guarded by Leah. Spin move inside. Called for a travel. And a Chaska or a Delano turnover rather with 15-28 to go here in the first half. Chaska quickly getting the ball in. Carinos catches and returns to Leah. Who will be guarded at the timeline by Derek Teckham. Teckham standing 6 foot, Leah standing 6 1. Now Nicholson in the paint, slip, sl slipping and sliding down low, goes up with it and is fouled. Nicholson will go to the line for two free throws. The junior averaging 22 and a half per game this season. The first one is up and through. Chaska. Takes the lead by three. 15 15 to go here. Nicholson up to six points of Chaska's 11. This is the second free throw from the Chaska Jr. Up and all. Also good. Two for two at the line goes Nicholson for the Hawks. And it'll be Calvin Wishart across the timeline for Delano quickly here. Just over 15 minutes to go. Wishart pulls up from about 15 and he sinks it. Timeout on the floor. Terry Teckham wants to talk things over. When we come back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network, we will be back with the last 1507 of this first half. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Welcome back to, to by Delano Lenson High School Chevrolet here. Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Zach Leah with it. Here's Carinos now. Over for Peters through Leah. Contact. It'll be an offensive foul against Nicholson. Offensive foul called on the Chaska Jr. Cole Nicholson, his first of the night. Chaska's fans are not pleased with that call from the official Mike Gearman, Chaska native. Wearing these stripes tonight on the floor. Here's Wishart, had his shot either tipped or it was just very short. Wishart grabs the rebound off his own miss. Bjorkman now snags the rebound and will go the other way. Chaska with a two point lead. Leah finds an open Nicholson inside, draws contact, goes up with it and is fouled. Nicholson will go to the line for another time. Holding a two-point lead. He'll try to expand on that for the Hawks.
first one from the Chaska Junior is up and good. A 13 10 to score here. Terry Teckham calling out some calls from the bench. Second one is up and good. 14 10 here with 14 40, 14 20 to go. Here's Trey Longstreet for Delano up top to Wishart. Derek Teckham back to Wishart through the legs, guarded by Leah. Shifty move by Wishart. Now he gives it away for Max Otto. First time we've called his name tonight. 1.7 points a game through 10 for the junior 6'5 forward. In the corner, Trey Longstreet back to Wishart now. Leah doing a good job of locking him down so far. Now Longstreet has it back up top for Derek Teckham. Teckham washes it away now for Max Otto. Back up top. For Longstreet. Travel is called with 13.42 to go. Here in the first half from Tiger Fieldhouse in Delano. Ryan Paul with you here. Live coverage of Hawks basketball on the lens of Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Down low, ball goes out of bounds. It's off of Delano. Chaska will keep possession. Inside, Bjorklin, no shot, whistle on the floor, and he was pushed before he could go up with it. So he will not go to the line on that one. First foul of the game against Chase Carlson, the 6'3 senior out of Delano, wearing number 13 in orange. Here's Nicholson battling through a lot of contact against Wishart. He spun him around and got it up for two. Chaska by six. Now Wishart at the other end, off the high window and through. Delano back within four. 13 minutes to go here in the first half. On the lens in Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Here's a three ball from Crenos. That's no good. Offensive rebound, Bjorklund. Goes back up with it, was blocked. Wishart rebounds, goes behind the back. Gives it back off now for Trey Longstreet. He's going to return it up top for Teckham. Now Wishart going to reset, guarded by Krenos. Wishart's going to take it himself. Krenos got crossed over a little bit. Chaska comes away with the rebound off of the Wishart miss. Under 12 and a half to go here on the lens in Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Cross court pass at the other end. Finds his way into Nicholson's hands. He takes the paint. Goes up with the left hand and through. Chaska's Cole Nicholson good for two. Here's Teckham off the glass the other end. No good offensive rebound, though, by Chase Carlson for Delano. Wishart back up top. Longstreet with it here. Here's a three ball from Teckham. It's off. Rebound. Battled for it, and Leah comes away with it. Now Krenos took it off the face. Wasn't expecting it. Here's a left-handed layup missed by Derek Teckham. Here's Aaliyah, spot up three. It's up and good. Zach, Leah for three. Time out on the floor. Delano needs to talk things over. It's a nine-point lead for the Chaska Hawks. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Don't go anywhere. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries. We are the exclusive provider of the Chaska, Chanhassen, Jordan, and Shakopee High Schools, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services, with clinic locations in Chaska, 
Jacopy, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today. Welcome back to Delano and the Tiger Fieldhouse here. Ryan Paul with you for some high school basketball tonight on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. A nine-point lead for Chaska on the number nine team in Class 3A. The Hawks the number eight team in Class 4A. This is Calvin Wishart, the bottom of your screen. Number 10 in orange, trapped by Chaska. He gives it away now for Trey Longstreet. Delano out of the timeout, misses a shot. Battle for it. There's Andrew Fix who just came into the game. Now Zach Leah chased by three Delano defenders. Goes up and through. Zach Leah. Let's off a more for Chaska. His first, or his, he's up to five points tonight. Now an errant pass by Delano. Out of bounds. Chaska ball. Not what Terry Tekum was looking for out of the timeout from his Tigers squad. Another one. Timeout Delano. We'll take another quick break. We'll be right back on the Lenjin Chevrolet Butte. Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Delano once again. Terry Tackham called two timeouts in a matter of almost 30 seconds here. His Tigers up or down to Chaska by 11 points here. Eleven thirteen to go here in half number one from the Tiger Fieldhouse in Delano. Chaska will have the ball in the baseline. It'll be Andrew Fix working right to left across your screen for Delano. Here's Zach Leah now, the sophomore. Gives it away for Peters. Now it's off for Nicholson at the Delano Tiger logo at center court. Here's Marcus Peters with it. Gives it back up top for Leah. Delano playing his zone. Chaska's keeping outside the arc. Now Fix has it. Up top for Leah. Back over for Peters. Here's a three ball from Marcus Peters in the eyeball. And that one trickles in. Chaska back up 26-12. Running away with this one here for the time being. Now a pass down low for Keegan O'Neill. He gives it back out for Derek Tackham of Delano. Guarded by... Bjorkland back inside for Wishart. Wishart kicks it away for Tekum from the corner. It's up. No good. Rebound by Wishart for Delano. He goes up with it off the glass. That one drops in. With 10-15 to go. Delano. 14. Jaska 26. Cole Nicholson with 13 for the Hawks. Here's Fix outside the yard for Jaska. Back up top for Leah. Leah across now for Bjorkland. Now an inside pass. Leah to Bjorkland. Jaska to... 28-14 lead. Here's a foul. It's going to be Andrew Fix who got it called on. And the basket is going to count. That's just egregious, I think. They could call that a and one. 9.50 to go in this first half, and we've already had a couple of interesting foul calls here, or interesting calls from the officials. 28-16 Hawks lead. This is Ter Derek Tekum at the free throw stripe. It's up and good. 28-17 the score here. Zach Lee guarded by Tekum. He gives it away for Peters now. Just over nine and a half to play here in the first half. Bjorkland takes the paint. Up at the left. It's off. Rebounded by Delano's Tekum. Here's Wishart down. Gets will check in at the next dead ball. The freshman entering for Chaska for the first time tonight. 9.23 to go. Down low is Keegan O'Neill. Gives it away for Wishart. Back down for O'Neill. And Bjorklund's going to pick up a foul for reaching in on the entry pass. It'll be Bjorklund's second, or first foul of the evening. Connor Krinos and Spencer Gaz will both check in for the Hawks. Inbound pass. Leah stole it away. Here comes Peters now. Off for Nicholson. Cross-court pass. Spinning for Krinos once again. Now he throws it away. And Calvin Wishart comes away with it. Is it back off for Trey Longstreet. Swinging it around is Delano. Derek Tekum. Off for Longstreet once more. Here's Wishart. Three feet beyond the three-point arc. Zach Leah guarding him. Wishart goes behind the back, steps back. Now he gives it off for Derek Tekum. Leah fell. Yeah. 
Just tech him off the glass. No good. Gets the rebound. Chaska, there's a positive. Making Delano take a shot that they didn't exactly want. I mean, it was a layup, but they probably would have preferred to get a point off of the setup there. Here's Nicholson now. Left side of your screen off for Carino's. A wide open three from the top. It's short. Carino's with short and warm-ups on a lot of his three balls, too. 8.15 to go. Now a three ball from Wishart. Rims in and out. Chaska's coming away with the rebound now. Wishart at 11. Here's a three ball from Zach Leah, and he buries that one with eight minutes to go. 31-17 lead for the Hawks on the Delano Tigers here on their home floor. Now Wishart almost has it still away by Leah. He pushed off of him. Now a three ball from the corner from Techum. No good. Delano playing physical. Here comes Leah away with it. He's going to kick it inside for Krenos, and it's going to be a kickball violation called against Keegan O'Neill. Apologize if we're having some video feed errors. We're going to try to change cords at the next dead ball. See if we can get that fixed. Could just be a faulty cord. Now on the back of the basketball floor, it's Nicholson in the corner. Entry pass was from Getz. Nicholson takes it, threw it right into the hands of Max Otto for Delano. His first steal of the basketball game. Seven and a half to go. Chaska and Delano. Here's a 10-footer from Keegan O'Neill. He gets that one to find its way through. And with 7.22 to go, it's a 31-19 lead for Chaska. And we'll be in the bonus here. Will the Delano Tigers... Here's a free throw, and it's good from Keegan O'Neill. 20-31. to 31. Chask is still hanging on to a lead. 7-17 to go in this first half from Delano High School. The Activity Center Fieldhouse, they call it. Very nice facility. It looks like it's, it's actually under construction right now on the outside of the gymnasium, but they're doing a really great job reconstructing it. Nice amenities being put in here, and... So looking like it's going to be a nice piece for Delano to have in their community. Spencer Getz is fouled by Trey Longstreet on the arm. It'll be Longstreet's first play in the scorebook, and it's a foul on the 6'4 freshman guard. Trey Longstreet, number 11 in orange. 6.55 to go. Peters catches the inbound. It's to be Orkland. And a steal here by Wishart. Lost the ball as he tripped over the timeline. Here's a three from Leah. It's good. Zach Leah puts Chaska up. 14. He's up to 11. The sophomore double digits in points his last two games. Now he makes it three points. There are three games in a row in double digits. He had he averaged just over two points a game through his first six seven, ga seven games. And then he finally turned on the Jets in the last couple of matchups. From Eden Prairie that was. 34-22 the score here. Calvin Wishart leads Delano with 11. Chask is Zach Leah, the highest scorer on the floor with 11. Nicholson is on the bench right now with a little more than that. Here's a shot up off the window by Bjork when he's up to 6 tonight. As we go under the 6-minute mark here. Here's Wishart through a couple of Chaska defenders. He goes up with it and Marcus Peters stuck in and stood in and took a charge. Wishart's first foul of the evening is offensive. 5.54 to go. Max Otto's going to check out. Chase Carlson will check in for the Tigers. It'll be Cole Nicholson checking in in lieu of Connor Krinos for Chaska. 36-22. Here's Bjorklund back up top for Nicholson. Swinging it around now. Coming off here for Nicholson. Here's Peters. Away for Leah now. Leah behind the back, guarded by Tackham. Here's Nicholson going against Longstreet. Up and good. Nicholson up to 14. Or 15, rather. Here's Wishart now. A foul. It's going to go against Getz, I believe, of Chaska. Wishard go to the line as we are in the bonus here. 
will be in the one and one for the final 519 of this first half. At least the one and one. Both teams over the seven final threshold. Wishart sinks the first of two. Uh, this one and one. Two for two for the Georgia Southern signee, Calvin Wishart. 5.16 to go here in half number one from Delano. Ryan Paul alongside you here tonight. Here's an entry pass. Nicholson from Bjorkland. He's going to go up off the window. That's too easy. They're picking Delano apart down low. Again, we're going to try to switch cords at the next break if we can. We go under five minutes here. The three, or long two from Wishart. Now here's Nicholson pushing up ahead with it. Nicholson behind the back. And a foul called. Against Nichols or against Delano, rather. Wishart picking up his second foul of the contest. 40 to 26 the score here. 4.43 to go. It's Nicholson at the line. First one is good. He'll get an extra one. 41 26. Nicholson up to 18 already in this first half. We, don't, we still have about five minutes to go. Nicholson's second is good. He's up to 19. 16 point lead for Jaska. Wishart now. Cross the timeline. Gives it away for Carlson. Carlson dribbles around, finds Tackham. Back up top for Keegan O'Neill. Delano working it around for the freshman Longstreet. Now it's returned up top for Carlson. Here's Wishart. Takes it in with the right hand. He's tried to spin it in. It was no good. Chassie comes away with the rebound. A little bit of frustration being shown by Calvin Wishart. Is not everything's dropping for him. Now a cross-court pass. Nicholson to Leah. Here's a long one from Zach. Leah, it's off. Rebound by Delano's Trey Longstreet. Now Wishart all the way down the other way. Trying to cross over. Zach Leah applying good pressure. Wishart has to... Send it back up top. Under four minutes to go here from Tiger Fieldhouse in Delano, Minnesota. Ryan Paul with you. 42-26 to score. Here's Longstreet. A three-pointer from Wishart is just a bit too long. Bjorkman comes away with the rebound and a lot of contacts from Longstreet. The refs let it go, though. From the elbow, Peters finds it inside for Bjorkman. Up and good for two. Parker Bjorkman up to nine. Delano looks good on paper at 8-2, but when you look deeper, their schedule, they haven't played too many teams that are going to be as talented as this Chaska roster has. Hence the reason why that 8-2 record does look so good. And For Chaska, they beat two top 10 teams already this year and lost to one. Meaning their schedule is a little, meaning that 8-2 record for Chaska is a little bit more telling than this Delano one. Delano... Coming out of the Wright County Conference. Chaska in the Metro West. Delano bat drops back into the 2-3. Here's Peters. Peters up and rimming in and out. Spencer gets the freshman. Goes back up with it. Spencer gets his first two points of the varsity game tonight. Yeah, it's a participant in that JV game that went into overtime before our broadcast here tonight. Is Calvin Wishart. Sinks a tray. A lot of transition points from Delano, as we said earlier in the telecast. Here's Marcus Peters who finds himself open. Now he gives it up for Leah. Leah gave it up for a steal, and Calvin Wishart takes it down the other way. It was fouled by Zach Leah. It'll be Leah's first foul of the contest, and we'll send Calvin Wishart to the free throw line for two free throws. Wishart with two 45-plus point performances so far this year. He had 47 against Princeton in the second contest that Delano played in. And then just a couple weeks ago, he put 46 bomb up on Hermantown. The 6'2 senior guard committed and signed with Georgia Southern for basketball. Number 10 at the free throw line right now for Terry Teckham's Delano Tigers. 14-point lead for Chaska with just over two minutes to go here. 
on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Here's over for Peters now. Delano still playing the zone. Carino's back over for Nicholson now. Nicholson's going to reset as we go under two to play here in this first half. Peters has it. Now he has it off for Crano. At the point, back to Peters. Peters takes one. It's off. Rebounded by Wishart. He's going to have a fast break here. He's going to pull up from three ball range and sink it. That's what Calvin Wishart will do best, is pull up on you and make you pay for a turnover. A minute and a half to go in this first half. Delano on a run, back up by 11. Crino has to get across the timeline. Delano down by 11, rather, Chaska here. The Delano five-year-olds that are sitting at the on the benches are started eating into it. Here's Peters now, finds Bjorklund open. Bjorklund takes the baseline. Off, now Crino's to Peters. Peters traveled with it. One minute to go here in the first half from Delano, a 46-35 lead. Chaska once led by as much as 14. Actually, they had the lead up to 18 at one point, and now they're up only by 11. Delano on a bit of a run here. 45 seconds to go. Leah rec recollects after the air ball. Chaska swinging it around. Delano in the zone. Prino's now off for Peters. Peters, Crino, or Leah Crinos. Now it's off for Peters. Chaska holding for what could be the last shot here. Still have 20 seconds until they get there. Here's Cre er, Nicholson now. Off for Leah. Here's a Crinos in the corner. Offensive foul. Not what Chaska and Dana Coleman wanted there. I didn't catch you the foul win against. It actually went against Marcus Peters for Chaska. His first of the game. Everybody on the floor for Chaska has won. With two seconds left. Wishart's going to pull up from three range, and it's no good. We'll go to halftime with a score of Chaska 46, Delano 35. Cole Nicholson leads scoring for the Hawks with 19. Zach Leah follows him with 11. And for Delano, a 22-point first half from Calvin Wishart, their senior standout. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Halftime, 46-35. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Lens and Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business. Proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So There's a better, brighter day ahead for patients who visit St. Francis Rehabilitative Services. Our wide-ranging, innovative, and compassionate care offers adults and children the services and support that inspire them to a higher quality of life. Among our services is our comprehensive sports medicine program, specializing in preventing, diagnosing, and treating sports-related injuries, helping you return to the activities that fuel your passion. St. Francis Rehabilitative Services with clinic locations in Chaska, Shakopee, and Savage. Schedule an appointment today.
Welcome back to Delano High School here. We're just underway in the second half. Ryan Paul with you here. Here's Parker Bjorklund working left to right across your screen. Here's a Cole Nicholson three. It was long. Parker Bjorklund is right there for the putback. It's good. 4-2. Chask up 48-35. to Just underway in the second half here of action. 17-30 to go in regulation. The Hawks, the number 8 seed in Class 4A. Delano, the number 9 seed in Class 3A. Here's Long Street with it for Delano, team in orange. Now it's off here for Wishart. 22 points in the first half. This is a three ball. No good. Bjorklund the rebound for Chaska. Zach Leo with it for the Hawks. Wearing all white this evening on the road. They'll be back home on Thursday night against Delano, or against Orno rather, another 3A team, very talented. Here's Bjorklund, who misses the baseline jumper. Matt Eliason skied high for the rebound. And got fouled in the action. So a foul, the first foul of the half is on Delano. And Chaska gets the ball here. Nicholson over for Leah. Now it's Bjorklund down low. Matt Eliason streaking. Bjorklund a spin move inside. Good for a pair. Parker Bjorklund up to 12 points tonight. Chaska up by 15. Down low. O'Neill had it tipped out of his hands as he was about to go up with it. With 16 and a half to go. Delano will have the ball on the baseline. Inbound pass. Here's Trey Longstreet going against a double team and it blocked out of bounds. Delano, yet another inbound play coming. Try to get you an update on the hockey team here soon. Maybe a live look in is in the mix. We'll see. Either way, again, you can watch all of our broadcasts here on ChaskaBasketballReport.com. Derek Tackham back all the way over for Mike Schultz. First time we've called his name tonight. Here's a three-pointer missed by Keegan O'Neill. Parker Bjorklund aggressively up for the rebound. Just under 16 to play here. Zach Leo with it for Chaska. Here's Parker Bjorklund up off the window for a pair. Here's a hockey update. Chaska down to St. Louis Park. 3-0 in the second period. That is not good, Chaska fans. The Hawks shorthanded down Nick Olmscheid, Shane Lavelle, and Mitchell Sell. Um, Blaine Warner also out with an injury. They were shorthanded last game as Delano calls a timeout. We'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit more about Chaska hockey when we return here on the Lens and Chevrolet Big Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Cheska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lenzen Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Delano High School. As we were saying before we went to commercial break, Chaska Hockey down 3 nothing in the second period to St. Louis Park. The Hawks fell in overtime to Benilde St. Margaret uh, just earlier last week, rather, and now falling here to another con or losing the, right now to another conference foe. Not a good sign for Dave Stuggard and staff and his Chaska Hawks hockey team. In the gym here, though, we are up. 52-37 on Delano. Sorry, we have the score a little bit laggy up there. Here's Nicholson into the paint. 
His shot is up and rims out. Sorry, we were a little bit technical difficulties in the score. Now we've got it fixed. Nicholson went up with it and was fouled. So here with 15-19 to go. Nicholson at the line sinks the first one. 53-37 the score. Nicholson up into that 20 point area now. He's up and good. It's up to 21 for the Chaska Jr. Nine out of 11 games has he had 40 or 20 points rather. Here's Wishart now back down the floor. Steps back, guarded by Elias and drew a foul. That was a good play by Calvin Wishart. Credit him. He went into the contact, drew the foul. Matt Eliason picks up his third of the evening. No points on the board for Chaska's Eliason. Very limited minutes for Chaska's Eliason, though. First one from Wishart is up and good. Second one is up and good, 39-54. 15-07, Leo almost got pickpocketed by Wishart. Instead, he kicks it out for Peters. Had his three swatted away by Wishart. Wishart almost tried to put, have a miraculous play and tip it back in. But instead, it is ruled out of bounds by the referee. And with 15 minutes flat to play, Chaska basketball. Here's a three ball at the top from Nicholson. It's off. Rebounded by Wishart. Bjorklund, a lot of contact down low. He's still going at it with Trey Longstreet. Now it's Wishart. Kicks it out for Tecum from long range. That's nothing but net. That's a technical foul. That should be a technical foul. Derek Tecum just gave a total cheap shot to Marcus Peters after Peters contested his three ball. It's just going to be a common foul. But I was watching Tecum that whole time. And that is what you call cheap. Derek Tekken went right into Marcus Peters. Peters contested the three ball. Maybe made a little contact. Tekken made the three. He kind of stared down Peters. And then he comes back down the floor and completely barricades right into Marcus Peters. Now a travel called against Chaska. It's 14.30 to go on the clock here. It's a 54 42 lead for the Hawks on Delano. If you're just joining us, Cole Nicholson leads Chaska scoring with a 21 point effort tonight. It's Calvin Wishart for Delano with 24 points on the evening. A brief conversation between Dana Coleman and our official as we get a substitution in here. Chase Carlson will check in for Delano. Dana Coleman, the Chaska coach, still having his piece of the puzzle here. And the referee not going to hear it. And Dana Coleman just picked up a technical foul. The referee wasn't hearing it. And Dana Coleman kept lipping. And we'll get two free throws, and they'll send Calvin Wishart to the free throw line for Delano. David Coleman was spouting off about something, and I, he was he didn't want to give it up. And after the referee walked away, Dana kept talking. And with 14.30 to go here, Delano has a chance to pull it within 10. This is Wishart at the free throw line, up to 25, make it. Stay right there. 14.30 to go. Timeout on the floor. It's a full timeout. Called. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Dealer. Chaska Haas Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Welcome back to Delano High School. Ryan Paul with you. Here. It was Dana Coleman who picked up the technical foul. Or the Chaska bench. It's technically a bench technical. I, I, 
You know, it is probably against Dana Coleman. So, Coach Coleman picks up his first technical foul of the season. And Delano's going to get the ball after the one for two free throw effort from Parker Bjorklund. 54 43 the tally here. This is Keegan O'Neill. Gives it back up top for Derek Teckham. Tension starting to flare a little bit here between these two teams. Chaska still holding the 11 point lead. Carlson now almost lost it. He did. Now he gives it up for Wishart, who actually kind of ran into the play and took it away. Now Wishart crosses over, pulls up from long range. No good rebound. Chase Carlson back to Wishart. Tape to tape right off the fingertips. And Keegan O'Neill is the one who puts it away for Delano. He's up to 11. And the Tigers have it back within single digits. A nine point lead for Chaska. Here's now Zach Leah with it. Back off for Nicholson. Behind the back. Gives it away for Leah. Leah back up top now off for Eliason. Inside for Bjorklund. Bjorklund along the baseline. Guarded by Carlson. Bjorklund spins it in for two. Gives a little bit of shove to Chase Carlson. 13.22 to go here. Bjorklund's up to 16. Entering pass here. Ch Keegan O'Neill fades away. No good. It was short. Chaska, three players, Sky for the rebound. And finally, the Hawks come away with it. This is Nicholson who's going to cross over. Almost loses it. Finds Peters now. Into the corner back for Nicholson. Guarded by O'Neill. Here's Peters. Finds Eliason inside for Bjorklund. Bjorklund up off the window. It's good. Two points. Parker Bjorklund. 18 and on the night for the Chaska senior. For Yorkland, season high was 21 in Lakeville North. This will be the second highest scoring game tonight here with 18. We still have just over 12 and a half to play here. Now Wishart trying to spin around inside. Goes up. Fouled by Elias. And Elias stayed straight up. It's a foul, but I don't think there's much Matt Eliason could have done there. It'll be the fourth foul against Chaska's Matt Eliason. Matt Eliason still talking to referee Mike Gearman at center court about the call. 12.35 on the clock. This is Wishart at the free throw line. The first of two is up and good. Matt Eliason seeing limited playing time tonight, probably due to the foul trouble. He's had, he had three fouls in the first half, and now he's up to four here with over 12 and a half to play in this second half. Wishart sinks to number two at the line. He's up to 27. You see why Wishart scores so much? Because Delano simply doesn't have very many other scores. Keegan O'Neill does average 22 and a half per game. He's not really anywhere near that tonight. He's up to 11. Wishart at 27. He's only a couple points away from his 32.3 season average. Inbound pass, Nicholson, after the foul by Delano. 12-16 to go. Nicholson threw a lot of contact. No good. Gets, flies in, and contests the rebound. But finally, it's Calvin Wishart who comes away with it. Wishart, a pocket pass up ahead for Schultz. It's up and good. Delano back within nine. 12 minutes to go. The Delano crowd starting to get energetic here. Here's Getz. Century pass, Nicholson, or Bjorklund, rather. A lot of contact. Leah back to Peters. Peters in the eyeball of Schultz. It's short. Rebound by Peters. Now he finds Nick Bjorklund off the glass. Good for two. Parker Bjorklund's up to 20. Timeout. Dana Coleman. It'll be a short one. We'll take a quick break. When we return to the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network, the Hawks have an 11 point lead. We'll be right back. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network is brought to you by Lenzen Chevrolet Buick. Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Back from Delano here, Ryan Paul with you. Coming out of the Dana Coleman and Chaska timeout, the Hawks back up by 11. It's been a seesaw back and forth second half of action here. 49 points for Delano, 60 for Chaska. At the break, at halftime, it was 46-35. Delano's Calvin Wishart leads the game scoring with 27. 
Shask is Cole Nicholson, the Hawks leader with 21. Parker Bjorklund not far behind with a 20 piece. Down low, it's an easy bucket for Keegan O'Neill. He's getting ever so much closer to his season high or his season average of 22. He's up to 13 tonight. Exactly across the timeline, blows past Wishart for K for Delano. Hey, he tried to give it away for Credos, but he had it stolen away before it reached him by Derek Teckham. Off for Long Street now at the Delano Tiger at the top of the key. Offensive foul. Derek Teckham committed the player uh, the offensive foul. It'll be Chaska ball with 11 minutes to go. Chaska holding a nine-point lead here. Crinos in the backcourt. Crosses the Tiger at center court, guarded by Tecum. Gives it off for Peters now. Peters up top, swinging it around for Leo, who gives it away for Nicholson. Leo had 11 in the first half, he's yet to score tonight, and Keegan O'Neill picks up a foul. It'll be number three on Keegan O'Neill. Here's up now for Krenos. Offensive foul called. It's going to go against Nicholson, I think. It's number three on Cole Nicholson. He's called for a charge. Sorry, we had an audio difficulty there. Back in action here, though. 10.39 on the clock in this second half. We had overtime in the JV game. And then in much of a first half that Chaska dominated... We're now back to a nine-point deficit here for Delano. 10.34 to go. Ryan Paul alongside you here. Inside for Keegan O'Neill. He spins around, and Zach Leah battling for the rebound. It's going to go against Calvin Wishart of Delano. With 27 points, the senior picks up his third foul. Four of the five players on the floor for Delano are now in three-foul territory. And we will shoot the one and one bonus here the rest of the way as long as Delano fouls. Chaska committed five fouls at this point in the second half. It's Zach Lee at the free throw line for Chaska. The first of the one and one is good. Could be here for a while now that we're shooting for the rest of the way. Leah hits both and Chask is up back by double figures. First two points of the half from the Chaska sophomore. His season high is, is 15 against Shakopee. A three ball from Calvin Wishard is good. Calvin Wishard's up to 30. Wishard eyeing for that 40 point game. It would be his third of the season. He's really a dominant player on a Delano team that doesn't have much around him. So he has to take charge and that's the reason Delano is sitting at eight and two. Not played that great of a schedule strength-wise as Parker Brooklyn spins around. is fouled, nothing called. Now Getz goes up with it and is fouled. Now it is whistled for. Mike Schultz going to be the guilty party on this one. So now Delano, four players on the floor have three fouls, and one of them has two. So Terry Tech, I'm going to have to play it careful here and possibly bring in some bench guys with just under ten minutes to play. It'll be Spencer Getz at the line for Chask. Up and good for the first one. The second one from the Hawks freshman is missed. Nine point lead for Chaska here. 9.43 to go in this second half. Inside, Wishart has it. He had a poke loose. Gave it back. Or now Keegan O'Neill finds it back in his hands. Here's Wishart for three. He got it. Calvin Wishart turning on the Jets. He's up to 33 tonight. And Delano. Back within 63 57, only a six point lead for Chaska. Crenos off for Peters. Delano's fans getting into it. There's an assortment of elementary school students that are sitting in the front row and are leading the chanting. 9.07 to go. Crenos off for Leah. Back to Peters now. Bjorkman 
fighting inside against Keegan O'Neill. Now Leah working through some contact. Missed the layup. And Delano's going to have a chance to come away with it here. Here comes Tackham slowing it up. Tackham over to Wishart. He's going to try to take over here. Guarded by Krenos. What a shot by Calvin Wishart. He's up to 35. And you see why he is averaging 32 a game and has had 250 or 40-point performances tonight or this season. He stands at the half-court line and claps his hands. It's a four-point lead for Chaska. And Dana Coleman needs a timeout. We'll be right back on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. It's a 63-59 lead. Delano crawling ever so closer. We'll be right back. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks broadcast network is brought to you by... Lenzen Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab. Lenzen Chevrolet Buick is a family-owned business, proud to service the Chaska area for the past 35 years. We sell both new and used cars. We got a complete service department with a body shop full service. We believe in community. We support the churches, the schools, the Lions Clubs, the Chamber of Commerce, you name it. We're proud to be a community leader. So Welcome back to Delano and the Tiger Fieldhouse. Ryan Paul with you here on the London Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. Delano led by Calvin Wishart crawling ever so closer. Back within this Chaska lead that's dissolved to four with eight and a half to go. Nicholson checks back in for Chaska. He has it down low with 8.24 to go. He almost loses it a bounce twice. Needs to do something with it. Finds it away for... Intended for Peters is tipped away by Tackham. A lot of noise being put on by these Delano fans now. Leah in the corner. Entry pass for Bjorklund. Back out now for Peters. Peters to Nicholson who spots up a three. It's good. Cole Nicholson lighting a fire for Chaska with eight minutes to go here. He's up to 24. Here's Wishart now. Crosses over, guarded by Eliason. Here's a three ball. It's no good. A rare miss in the second half from Calvin Wishart of Delano. Here's Bjorklund at the key. Or Peters at the key, rather. Now it's sent around near side for Leah. Now it's worked right in front of the Chaska bench to... Matt Eliason, off back, returning for Eliason in the paint. He goes up with Sorry, folks, we're running into some issues with our internet here from Delano. We are sorry if we're cutting in and out. We're trying to work through it as we speak. You are currently watching Delano and Chats get 73-63. The Hawks have a lead. We think we've got everything worked out. This is a nickel... Uh, Nicholson long two. It was no good. Five and a half minutes. We apologize if we lost connection there briefly. You didn't miss a whole lot. There were a couple buckets exchanged, and now with a five and a half to play, Derek Teckham gets his 14 points tonight. Hits a three ball for Delano, who is now back within 73 to 66. The deficit here. Again, we apologize if we cut out momentarily. We did lose connection here from Delano as a server error so we apologize for that now Nicholson almost lost that rounds a lot of contact no whistle whistles kept in the mouths of the referees Wishart comes all the way down the other end misses the two rebounded by Longstreet and it's two his first two points of the night Longstreet has four fouls gets his first bucket five point game here Timeout on the floor. It's called by Dana Coleman for Chaska. 4.41 to go. We will return after the short timeout. Don't go anywhere. It's setting up to be a great finish on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network. This presentation of high school basketball on the Chaska Hawks Broadcast Network is brought to you by Lens and Chevrolet Buick, Above and Beyond Marketing Communications, and St. Francis Orthopedic Rehab.
Welcome back to Delano High School. Second half action here, bringing you live coverage of Hawks and Tigers. It's a 68 or 73-68 lead for Chaska. Chaska led as much by as much as 18 at one point. Delano has not been ahead by more than five. 440 to go here. Chaska coming out of their timeout. Has a 73-68 lead on the number nine seed in class three. Chaska coming out of class four, so they won't these teams won't see each other anymore this year after this non-conference matchup. As Marcus Peters spotted almost spotted up a three. The Chaska's gonna swing it around here. Nichols is gonna take the baseline. A holding call on the floor against Keegan O'Neill. Number four on Keegan O'Neill. Delano in foul trouble. Double bonus here on out when Chaska will be shooting. Keegan O'Neill and Trey Longstreet both have four fouls for Delano. Calvin Wishart and Derek Teckham both with three. And then Mike Schultz is out there with two fouls. Nicholson at the line. The first free throw is good. He's up to 27. A season high for Cole Nicholson. He had 26 on opening night in North St. Paul, and he surpasses that now as he has 28 points this evening. 23 points from Parker Bjorklund is also good for a season high, so career nights for Chaska's players. Here's Wishard, who elected to go off. Instead of pulling up, he elected to give it off for Schultz. Now it's a, a way for Trey Longstreet, who takes it to the paint and buries it for two. 75, 70, a five-point lead for Chaska here. Four minutes to go. Zach Lee is going to slowly walk across the timeline for Chaska. The Hawks coming in at 8-2. and two, The Tigers coming in at 8-2. One team will go out at 8-3. and three, And the other team will go out at 9-2. Here's Bjorklund on the baseline. Up off the window. No good. Gets his own rebound. A lot of contact. He was stripped. And Delano comes away with it. A chance to pull up into a one-possession game here. Up off the window. And it's good for two, Chaska. The lead has been cut to three. Under three and a half to play here. Delano back within 75-72 on a 35-point night from Calvin Wishart. A 17-point night from Keegan O'Neill. Peters to the top of the key. Off for Krinos. Now Aliyah pull up. No good. Nicholson and Bjorkman both tipping it away. Delano with a chance to take the lead. Here's or to tie rather. Here's a three from Schultz. Sunk it. The gym has gone wild 75 75 all square just under three minutes to play the Delano fans on their feet Marcus Peters at the key here's Leah now across for Krinos a wide open long one it's long rebound Nicholson scrapping for it he goes up with it good Chaska back with the lead Wearing out to be a fantastic finish here. Two and a half to play in the London Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Wishart might have gone away with a travel. Now with three balls missed by Mike Schultz who hit the one to tie it up. And it's a two point lead for Chaska as we come down to the wire on the London Chevrolet Buick. Chaska Hawks broadcast network. The final 213 of regulation. Here's Peters at the top. Just over two minutes. We now have hit the two minutes of play mark. Ryan Paul with you here. Chaskis Cole Nicholson has 30 points. This season high. Parker Bjorklund has 23 a season high. Zach Leah sits at 13 points. For Cal for Edina or for Delano, it's Calvin Wishart with 35. This is Cole Nicholson. Off the glass. Good for two. Four point lead for Chaska, and now a, a foul called. Chaska's fans are letting Mike Gearman, the official, hear it. 142 to play. 79-75. It's Zach Liu who picks up a second foul. The gym is silenced momentarily as Calvin Wishart will head to the stripe. No students in attendance for Chaska tonight. A fair amount of alumni still on their winter break are here. This is Wishart up or down by four is Delano. He's to the line for two. It's up and no good. The second free throw from Calvin Wishart. 142 left. It's up and good. Chaska by three. 
140 to go here. We had overtime in the JV game. Could it be shaping up to be another one of those? Leah pushes off for Peters. Peters has it for Nicholson now. One and a half. Crino's with it. For Chaska. He crosses over. He's got to avoid a five second call. A turnover for Chaska. The Delano fans are ecstatic. Five seconds against Connor Crino's. 119 to go. 79 76 lead on the Lens and Chevrolet Buick Chaska Hawks broadcast network. And this is Schultz at the key. Gives it off for Trey Longstreet. Ryan Paul with you here for the final 69 seconds. Wishart with 36 tonight. Has it the ball. Guarded by Leah. Wishart crosses over. Foul. Fifty nine point seven on the clock. Fifty nine point seven. It'll be Calvin Wishart. Thirty six points on the night. Headed to the free throw line. They're gonna go off the miss. It's one and one. The first one up and good. Dalen over in two. The second from Wishart. Good. One point game. 58 seconds left. This is Cole Nicholson in the backcourt. The Hawks have the lead. Nicholson crosses the timeline. Guarded by Wishart. A lot of contact. Now it's Leah. 49 seconds. The Chaska fans yelling for a foul. Nothing called. One point game between the Hawks and the Tigers on the Legend Chevrolet Duke. Chaska Hawks broadcast network. Foul from Mike Schultz. Now every Delano player on the floor has at least three fouls. It'll be Marcus Peters to the charity stripe for two. We're in the double bonus, and we could see a lot of free throws here in the last 40 and 9 tenths. Marcus Peters at the line. He's got seven tonight. Chaska, their highest scoring game so far this year at 80. The second one from Peters is good. Two possession game. Or it's a three point game rather. 81-78. Calvin Wishart with it for Delano. Guarded by Nicholson. They switch. Now Zach Lee is going to take Wishart again. A long three ball from Wishart is no good. One of the biggest shots for... Sorry, we cut out again momentarily. I know it's a little bit of an inopportune time to cut out. It's a 83 to 80 game. Sorry, we're a little behind. We've had we've Delano does not have the best internet for us to use, so we have been a little bit hindered by that. It's an 83-80 lead for Chaska. We're out again. Are you kidding me? Inbound Zach Leah. Three point game. Seven point six left. Free nose is half. We're in the double bonus for Chaska shooting wise. Eighty-two. Sorry, our score is still messed up. I'm, we're not. We're trying to figure everything out here. We're, this internet has really hindered us out of our stream night. So, I apologize if you've had some troubles with the stream tonight. Prino has pulled Chaska out four. Again, sorry, Ryan Paul here with you on the Chaskox Broadcast Network. A rare time that we do see internet difficulties. A four-point game, and now Wishart is going to pull up from long range and sink it with one second left. That's going to do it. Calvin Wishart pulls Delano within one, but it's not going to matter as Chaska comes away with the victory, but some sh head shaking on the Chaska bench. The final score from Delano tonight 84-83. Calvin Wishart comes away with his third 40-point performance of the season. For Max Hannon and Danny Johnson, I'm Ryan Paul signing off from Delano High School at the Tiger Fieldhouse. Have a good night, folks. The Hawks win this one close. We'll be back on Thursday for Chaska versus Orno from Chaska High School. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks. Have a good evening. Soar Hawks.